Who would you include in the list of the 100 best football players of the world? In this video, we will take a look at an updated top 100 list created solely based on historical match results with the help of a mathematical model. Hi there, I'm Lars Magnus, welcoming you to the world of football player ratings. In this video, we will have a look at the 100 highest rated players according to a mathematical model and the results from 149,528 recent football matches. This time around, I will not discuss the details of the rating system used to evaluate the players. Other than to say that it is a form of plus-minus ratings, I will refer to the videos linked in the description below. If you want to know more of the details of the rating system, please check those out. Otherwise, let's move on. The top 100 list we are about to see has been generated based on matches up to January 2019. The dataset contains more than 80,000 players, out of which 23,000 players have appeared in at least one match during the last 12 months. Out of these, 17,810 players have recorded at least 900 minutes of playing time and are eligible for the list. Note that there are many competitions not covered in the dataset, such as the Brazilian League, the Japanese League, or any of the African Leagues. Let's look at the list already! It has been around half a year since the previous top 100 list was published. We have made few adjustments to the rating system since then, but some with the potential of changing the rankings. In addition, new matches have been played and the players have aged, which changes their rating estimates. A new feature of the list is that we indicate the change in position since the last list, where the purple dot indicates new entries to the top 100. Other than that, the information given is as last time. Rank, name, age, nationality, position, current club, minutes played in the database, estimated peak rating, and estimated current rating. Now, at number 98 in the list, we have Loris Karius, down 46 positions since the previous list. The rating of Karius is based on the results he has achieved. Does this graph show what a lack of self-confidence can do to a goalkeeper? And just because of what happened in one high-profile match, which then snowballed? Will he ever come back, and if so, to which level? At number 89 in the list is Dani Alves. Among the top 100, he has experienced the largest drop since the previous list, being down 77 positions. Why? Presumably because the rating has an age component, and therefore adjusts the rating based on the expected performance according to a player's age group. Alves, aged 35, is the only player aged above 33 years in the top 100 list, and is expected to decline based on his age. However, his peak rating estimate has been increasing, which implies that he has not declined as quickly as is normal for his age. Brazil is the country with the most players in the top 100, which is as expected, I guess. Fabinho, at number 73 in the list, is only ranked number 16 out of 18 players from Brazil. The club with the most players in the top 100 is Manchester City. Benjamin Mendy, at number 61 overall, is only ranked number 14 out of 16 players from Manchester City. Daily Blind, at number 58 on the list, is not the highest rated player from the Netherlands. However, he is the highest rated player currently playing on a Dutch team. At number 41 on the list, we find an interesting entry. Taliska is the only player in the top 100 from the Chinese league. He is also the highest rated player on the list that has not yet appeared for his national team. The highest rated player from Scandinavia is Christian Eriksen, as was also the case on our previous list. He has taken some steps in the right direction though, moving from 63rd place on the previous list to 35th place on the current list. At number 23 we surprisingly find Cristiano Ronaldo. How can he be rated so low? Well, remember Dani Alves at number 89? The explanation for Ronaldo is similar. At 33 years of age, he is the oldest player in the top 30, and his rating is expected to decline due to his age. However, 
His peak rating estimate is slightly increasing, indicating that he is indeed performing somewhat better than what is expected age-wise. The Brazilian goalkeeper Ederson is not only the highest placed goalkeeper, but also the highest placed newcomer on the list. He only has 14,000 minutes of playing time recorded in the dataset, which helps to explain how his rating can increase so fast. Another player with relatively few minutes played in the dataset is Bernardo Silva. Currently number 7, he has climbed 59 positions since the previous list. His rapid climb is also explained by the fact that he is the youngest player in the top 25. At age 24, he is expected to still improve his rating. The players in the top 3 are Thomas Miller, who drops down from 2nd place to 3rd place. Neymar, who climbs from number 10 to number 2 and Messi, who keeps his number one status for one more list. If we look a bit more closely at the comparison of the top three, we can see that it is closer than for a long time. It is interesting that Messi has had two periods of declining ratings, once in 2014 and once in 2017, where he has not yet bounced back from the latter. Perhaps we are seeing the beginning of the end of an era, I have one more list to show you before we end this. Recall how we discussed the estimated peak ratings of Dani Alves and Cristiano Ronaldo. The point is that the top 100 list presented now is based on the estimated current ratings of the players. However, based on the current rating and the expected development based on the general age curve for players, we can also calculate the peak rating of the players, assuming that they have performed in line with the general age curve. Here are the top 10 players according to their estimated peak rating. These are all players in their 30s, who are still active, but have had a long career already. This list favors players that have kept on performing at a very high level, well past their peak age. Several of the players on the list are far from being top 100 in the world based on their current rating. Having gone through the top 100 list and then some, I have a small announcement to make. If you prefer to browse through the top 100 list at your own leisure, either in a printed copy or on the computer screen, you may be interested to know that I have prepared a file to facilitate this. For instructions on how to obtain this file, please have a look in a pinned comment below. Thank you for watching this video and see you again next time.